Hey, what's up, guys? It's Retro Adam, and we are going to be playing a few Halloween type games this week, starting with Fester's Quest, and then we're going to play Maniac Mansion and Doom. Doom will be on Halloween Day. So, today, let's start off with some Fester's Quest. And this is just going to be a great old time because I've had this game since I was a kid and I've played through it many times. I've only been able to beat it with Game Genie because it gets really hard near the end. Uh, and for whatever reason, I don't even know why this is an Adam's Family's game because, like, there's freaking aliens coming in and Fester's just chilling with his juice box. And now he's going to be all like. But it's got a rockin' tune, it's got a rockin' soundtrack, so we're gonna get started. Now, I don't have a lot of time to play through the entire game, but I'm gonna try and beat the first boss. So, I think it usually takes about 20 minutes to get to the first boss. And these freaking little brain things take forever to kill, so you gotta upgrade your weapon. Honestly, I don't think this is a bad game. It's got a great soundtrack, it's got... It's got some cool power-ups, it's got some neat items. Um, when you're facing the bosses, you go into this kind of like first-person perspective mode when you're trying to find and kill the boss. Uh, so I thought that was kind of neat as well. I, don't, I think it gets a lot of hate because it's just, there's a lot of unfair parts in this game and there's a lot of randomness to it. But I think it's got a sweet soundtrack. I mean, there's a lot of positives for it. I think it's, honestly, I think it's a good game. I think it's worth checking out. Okay, let's just see if I remember even how to get to the first boss. You can use the money to buy stuff from the houses. Don't get the red guns, that'll that'll make your guns worse. Oh, you know what, this is just a dead end, I don't even know why I'm going this way. But we're gonna go, I believe we need to go to the sewers first, which is, where is the sewers actually? Oh yeah, I think it's this way. Or this might be a house actually. Now is this... Yeah, this is just a house. The hot dogs will restore your health if you use some money at them. Oh, there's the whip. The whip you need to find later. So there's, a, there's just a lot of unfair, but like these frogs, they're just going to keep coming back and it's super annoying. Oh, there's the stairs right there. I think that's where I need to go. But you can use the money to buy stuff. Oh, you need the key too, actually. So use the key. Pugs <laughs> Chunky Pugsley wants to give you TNT. So I got some TNT, and the bulbs you need for underground, I believe, because it gets dark. Ah! Oh my freaking goodness. So I only have two hits, so I'm going to have to buy a hot dog. Oh, here's another gun. So let's go into the house. Vice grips. I can't remember what the vice grips are for. Uh, where are? Oh, here's the TNT. What are the vice grips for? I, I, I can't remember yet. TNT, you can just drop. Oh, the TNT is good for the blobs actually. So there's some blobs in the basements and or the sewers. And they're good for killing those. You can use the bulb for the sewers. So keep the TNT just in case I run into some of those blobs. Oh, you know what? I should buy some hot dogs first too. Let's get the hot dogs first. Uh, hopefully don't get killed in the process. Okay, get a hot dog. You need the money. There you go. It'll cost five bucks for a hot dog. Let's see, I gotta drop some TNT. See, here is a problem here. See, like I can't. Oh, okay, good. He didn't come back. I gotta use another light bulb. So TNT for the blobs. They're probably coming up. It's. I almost feel like it's worth it just to upgrade my gun one more time because, like, the the way it is now, it's not very useful. But these are the blob dudes. They just keep multiplying. And you can drop TNT on them, and that usually gets rid of them pretty good. Some more keys. See, they just keep multiplying. It's freaking ridiculous. This is just a dead end, anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> I 
I'm just gonna walk around because they just keep going. So I think I need to go through here. Oh, here's one of these freaking goobers. I think I need to go through the sewers here. Oh my god, they, the enemies just keep coming back. Go through the sewers, get the whip on the other side, and, and then the first boss is there, I think. So let's hope, let's hope that's the right way. And if you die, I believe you go all the way back to the very beginning, and you just gotta walk all the way back to where you died, which is also super annoying. Oh, there's a gun. See, this 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 gun's not too bad, actually, because you can just sit here and do this. I'm gonna have to get another hot dog on the other side. One more gun upgrade, and then I, I have the best gun, I believe. See, I wonder if just dropping... Yeah, see, if you just drop the TNT, that gets rid of the blob. That's the best way to do it. Alright, or you just walk around. You can do that too. It's a lot of freaking rats. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, these guys shoot fire, so... Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> that was close. Those guys shoot fire, so you gotta watch out. There's more hot dogs. More hot dogs over here. You gotta get those right away. Especially if you got hurt in the sewer. Okay, so... Now the whip... I don't think you get the whip until you beat the first boss. Uh, what's over here? This is just more... This is just another house, I think, over here, so you don't need to go that way. Uh, oh, but what do they... They sell you something decent, I think, at this house here. I might have to go there. And then, oh yeah, the first boss is just right over here, I think. So, you know what, let's go to the house, and then we'll go to the first boss. And we'll see how that go how that goes. This soundtrack is sick though, like listen to this soundtrack. Like it's so good. Sunsoft always nails it with the soundtracks. Oh crap. See, they keep multiplying, it's so annoying. Oh, and I downgraded my gun, damn it. Look at that, they just, they go right through. My loop de loops. Okay, let's see what they sell here. Oh, potions. Potions are good. And then you can heal yourself. Okay, this is my favorite part of the song. So good. Alright, we're back at it. So let's let's beat the first boss here. These frogs are in, um, you know what I just noticed? These frogs are in, um, oh, he hit me. These frogs are in, um, blast right. Oh, I'm gonna die. No. These frogs are in, um, blaster master. I just realized. I wonder if that's the same, like, sprite work. No, it can't be, because the sprite work in Blaster Master is way bigger than that. Okay, so, buy a hot dog. Oh, I, I guess I had the potions, too. Okay, let's get these freaking frogs out here. And we're gonna go face the first boss. Oh my god, they take so many hits. And they just keep coming back. What the heck are these things? Some weird ass enemies. Okay, get the key, go into the building. This is where the first boss is. So this is the part I was talking about where it's like all 
first person. And I actually kind of enjoy this, but it's, it's very quick. Like, look how snappy and quick it is. This is very impressive for a NES game, I believe. Because normally they, like, they have to load each section, but this, like, look how quick this is. This is very interesting to me. So there's extra health, I think, just down here. Yeah, so if you go up against the wall here, you get extra health. And then the boss, I think, is... Is the boss here? Oh, no, it just takes you here. Oh, this just takes you to, uh... To the back side of the house here. So I guess... We need to go into one of these stairs here. So I, I thought that building there was the first boss, but I guess not. Freaking frogs, man. Oh my god! How many hits does it take? I'm just gonna run past them. So I don't know if I'll have enough time to get to the boss before I run out of time here, but let's just see how far I can get. Oh, these things are creepy, man. They go underground and try and chomp you. Whoa. Oh, here's this is the first boss. Okay. Oh crap, I don't have a key though. Great. How am I gonna get a key? Unless one of these things will drop a key. There's a key. All right, let's go face the boss. So same thing again. I'm in the labyrinth here, and I think the boss is that was probably it there. There you go. So here, I'm gonna keep the potions ready. You just kind of go back and forth. Just You just have to move over so he doesn't hit you. And then you just wail on him. There you go. First boss of Fester's Quest beaten for you guys. So, uh, here come the frogs. So that is the first game of Halloween week. We will be playing Maniac Mansion tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And then after that, we are playing Doom uh, on Halloween day. So I'm super excited for that. Leave a comment and subscribe to the video if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next video. Join the Discord. And thanks for watching, guys.